Durst the worst? Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Durst is the worst. Durst 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 the worst. North America has mainstream delusion. So here in Canada, not here in Canada, Canada, there in Canada, eh? So a biological male is considering filing a human rights complaint after being barred from a based BC women's gym. This this rotund dude that thinks that he's a chick wants to make all the women at the gym feel uncomfortable. So, oh my God, let's just check out the video. And then I got I got another fucking clip to show after this. But uh, what is the deal with this weird glitchy shit? Is this does anybody else look at videos on Odyssey and see this with this weird? Uh, border thing i don't know maybe ask odyssey what's up but uh let's check this video out what do they got to say 28 year old bridget klein simpson has identified as a woman for years and she wants to get into better shape so she went to the body works gym for women in parksville for a member look at dude look at how this dude walks like that is the walk of a dude so she went to the body works gym for women in parksville for a membership that, that is the waddle of a chunky dude and she wants to get into better shape so she went to the Body Works gym uh, for women da, in Parksville for um, membership. Da, Klein Simpson says she was initially welcomed, but after one workout, she was informed she was not allowed at the women's only gym. Based? Thanks. Sorry, we made a mistake. You're not actually allowed to be here, but you're more than welcome to use the co-ed facility. And uh, I kind of just hung up because uh, I was, I mean, I was extreme, extre devastated. I mean, there's really no other word for it. Why are you devastated if... I mean, that's just entitlement, isn't it? Lefties like to talk about entitlement all the live long day, but dude, you're not entitled to be a dude in a woman's space, okay? We've mainstreamed delusion in this region of the world. I mean, these people... This this dude now gets to go before a human rights tribunal. And, uh, dude, how long before the United States has stuff like that? Right. How long before the United States has hate speech laws and human rights tribunals like your business didn't want this dude to be around chicks? This is some predation. This is some predatory ass shit right here, dude. This is some creepazoid shit. This is some Buffalo Bill type shit, dude. Okay. What does this what does this fat dude do? He covets. <laughs> As Hannibal Lecter said, he covets. He he wants to be around a bunch of chicks to perv out. I mean, he fucking, he, he said he feels uncomfortable in, in the men's gym. But then how the hell do the fucking women at the women's gym feel seeing your rotund ass? How the fuck do they feel seeing you're probably having a dong fucking ass, dude? How how the fuck are they supposed to feel? Why don't their feelings fucking matter in the situation? Klein Simpson changed her gender and name legally close to two years ago, and she's been on hormone replacement therapy for more than three years. She Gross. She wants to work out at a woman's only gym where she will feel comfortable unlike her experiences at gyms while in university. Exactly, dude! I didn't quite understand why that was, like, uncomfortable, because I didn't know I was trans at the time. I still thought I was a guy as well. But it was just important to me to, like... That's so that insane. That would be, like, explicitly accepting, like, you know, you are a woman. You can, you know, you're allowed to be here. So you go to an explicitly women's gym, <laughs> even though you're a dude. So words just don't matter, okay? I... This dude feels uncomfortable, like I said, this dude feels uncomfortable at a, at a dude's gym, or like at a gym with a bunch of dudes at a university, but no consideration is made for the actual women that feel un would feel uncomfortable at this gym seeing your ass. What the fuck, man? D so words and boundaries and borders just don't matter anymore. We live in a post-reality society. Because... Well, we know why. I mean, I, I, I grow tired of saying, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I could just come out and fucking say it. I wish I could just fucking say which tribe is fucking pro responsible for promoting this stuff in this region of the world. I wish I could just fucking say it. But, <laughs> oh, man. Owner says members have a diversity of sexual identities, but he believes Klein Simpson would fit better at their co-ed gym where there are gender-neutral change rooms. Huh. Do we pick uh, the comfort of... The transgender person, and they may not be as comfortable with the co-ed gym, but at least that's an alternative. Or do we pick the comfort of the young girls that are working out there? They may not feel comfortable. There you go. Or is that fair to them? And what would parents think? What would you think if this is your daughter there? Negra says he's open to ideas and options. What up, my Negra? <laughs> Simpson says she understands some may be uncomfortable with trans people. 
I mean, all it takes is education. I mean, you, you know, uh, understand. You know, like trans women are women, trans men are men. Incorrect. Non binary people are who they say they are, and I mean, it's just it's as simple as that. Like, and if you're still, you need more education on lady penises, bigot. If you still feel uncomfortable after that, I mean, I mean, that's on you. She's uh, because she doesn't want this to happen to other trans people. She says she's considering uh, yes, the uh, DC's human rights tribunal. Gross. Look at how clinical and concerned the faggot fucking announcer sounds. Listen to that. that. I mean, I mean, that's on you. She's going public because she doesn't want this to happen to other trans uh, people. If you don't like having his lady dick waved in your face as you're trying to work out, that's on you. Educate yourself, bigot. <laughs> Anyway, enough of this, like, large and in charge dude over here. You definitely do need to lose weight, bro. Um, but, there, you know, trans women are women or whatever is trending on Twitter. And I found this interesting video clip. I want to go through this for about a minute. Director of advocacy at sexmatters.org and author H. Joyce Gender. Huh. Quote, there's no such thing as trans women, only men who think they're women. Well, pretty based. There's this whole move since you know postmodernism the what they call the postmodern turn which is when you stop thinking that words describe reality and you stop not thinking that words create reality uh, you mean talmudry <laughs> you mean and the thing is both of those things are true mm -hmm. Oy, they... you know, words do create reality they they start wars they you know they make things happen but they also describe reality i can't just say any word means what i like <laughs> and still live in a world where you know trains run and operations are successful and you know that sort of thing so, so the postmodern turn is like moving away from the reality and towards the words and then they just get like kind of intoxicated on it and unmoored from anything if you can't think through the issues if you can't write them down or say them logically you have to be able to keep saying men who think they're women there you know, you go. men who think they're women should be allowed into women's sports is nothing like as convincing as trans women should belong in women's right. sports. Mm -hmm. So we need to get the language back. I think that's non-negotiable. Without that, there you we go. can't do anything. Yeah, that's why I say this fucking dude that thinks that he's a chick wants to go in there and wave his lady parts, <laughs> his lady dick, at a bunch of women. That's what this is about, dude. I think something like one in 500 troons are sex offenders, like convicted sex offenders. Or more, I mean, actually, that many are incarcerated. So probably way higher number I actually have records. And of course, an even higher number are actually, in reality, sex predators that just haven't been caught yet. So yeah, this is some Buffalo Bill-ass shit. I'm not a phobe for saying this. I'm telling the truth. Dudes that think that they're chicks want to go into women's spaces and vice versa. And it's completely deranged. It's, it's complete Talmudry, it's small hat, hook nose, fucking horse shit, and we shouldn't stand for it anymore. We are a white Christian nation founded by, with, you know, by and for and with those principles, and they're being taken away from us. I don't give a shit if you're secular or whatever. You should still acknowledge that anything orderly, anything symmetrical, anything beautiful that you see around you that's even left, that's even allowed to exist, was created through those principles by those kinds of people. Not by, not, <laughs> not by this fucking, not, not by this. No, not by that at all. Okay. We, we got to start taking the language back. Like this person said, are there any more? Is there any more? Okay. Uh, yeah, no, we, we got to take the language back. Stop saying trans women. Stop using terms like transphobia. Just say what it is. It's BS, Talmudic horseshit. Men are men, women are women, biological males are men, biological females are women. Language matters, language exists to describe our reality accurately, succinctly, and consistently, concretely. Okay, it doesn't exist to be malleable to fit whatever fucking absurd need that you feel. It, that's just what it is. And um, I'm sick of, quite frankly, just seeing these people in any prominent position of power or anything. And I, I mean... A any ability to sue somebody because, oh, they use my wrong pronouns or won't let me come into your business. It's like, dude, it started with, like, bake the cake, bigot, or it started with, you know, like, fucking, like I said in the other video, it started with, like, just two men in the privacy of their own home want to get married to bake the cake to you will accommodate this person in your business and their delusional bullshit to trans kids, okay, tranny drag queen story hour with kids, to what the fuck's next? Minor attracted persons? I think we're already fucking there. But anyway, there's enough yakking. Uh, subscribe.
Schatz. 